All right, Tom here today. I have a 2011 Jeep Grand Cherokee with a 5.7 liter Hemi. Um, here about a week ago, um, started noticing that um, we are having issues with overheating. Um, so basically what I've done so far is I've taken the air box off, which is, well, there's a big hood here that just pulls up. Um, I've undone a 10 millimeter right here. It goes into that uh, flathead screwdriver, loosen that. And then there's two clips on the air box here. You pop those clips like you're gonna change the air cleaner. And then this hose here gets removed from the air box. And that pulls off. Also, I've removed the upper radiator hose, which is two 13 millimeter bolts right here. I've just moved my hose up here. Um, and also this little clip here that retains the upper radiator hose, I've removed that. You pinch these two deals together right here and that'll pull it out for you. But, so first thing, um, pull my thermostat, I noticed that's all chewed up um, so I'm going to go ahead and replace that. And then I'm also going to do the water pump. Once I pulled the belt, when I had the belt on there, basically you just put your, uh, three eighths into there. Um, give it a push that way. That'll loosen up enough to take the belt off. But when the belt was on there, I noticed that, uh, you know, there was a little bit of play in the pulley. And then once I, um, got the belt off I noticed that this thing's uh, moving around pretty dang good so I didn't notice a whole bunch of fluid leaking out um, right down there I think that was for me yesterday but uh, you know, there's like a little puddle there you know I didn't notice anything excessive leaking uh, my reservoir always read full uh, on the back side of here I did notice a little bit of a little bit of spray but it didn't look like anything crazy so we're gonna go ahead and replace the water pump uh, from what I hear you want to know remember exactly where you took each one of these 11 bolts out around here so uh, time to make a run to the auto parts store and figure it out Yeah, I think I figured out why my Jeep was overheating. That water pump got a lot of play in it. All right, back here again. So I've got the old water pump off. There's 11 bolts that have to come off of there. A um, few other little odds and ends. Um, so looking at the old water pump here, uh, you got two in the top, two right there, one in the side. This pulley right here sits on there, so you have to remove that in order to get to those. Well, to get to that one. Um, you got another one here, another one here, and another pulley that you gotta take off right there, which you're gonna have to put over. So one here, one here. These here are for your thermostat, or upper radiator hose, and this one here. This one here worried me a little bit because when I pulled it out and I done a diagram, so these two here are the top and then along the way. So all of them are different lengths, but as I was saying, when I pulled this one out here, it's almost a little milky. So uh, I don't know, it uh, didn't look too good. But once I got this off here, you can see that the bearings on the water pump uh, weren't doing so good. So it shouldn't have any play in it. It should be nice and, nice and solid like that. All right, so I'm going to get back here to putting everything back on. I'm going to have to take out the, uh, the temperature regulator, put that in there. This here is a bleeder. I'll probably crack that because I don't have any special funnels when I'm refilling it. Um, and then bottom radiator hose is going to go right there. 
Um, as far as gasket goes, um, this came from O'Reilly, so got a new gasket there. Uh, and I got some red RTV silicone that I'm gonna put just a thin layer in there to kind of help hold that gasket on. And also a new thermostat. Uh, Cause the other one was kind of uh, busted up. All right, so it goes around this top one here, down there, goes to the bottom, and the bottom of that one, back up, around the tensioner, around the alternator, back around that idler pulley, and back up. 